Land, a brief description. Land is required for experience, together with time for memory's need to capture what we tell another when we hope a story we make holds their decision to love what we are, were, and what we might become. We live on land or on temporary structures that float on the vast seas and lakes that act like land, when Earth won't place a mighty escarp where it's needed for rulers to survey what is theirs by coercion. Castles, towers, walls, and flying machines have been made to substitute so that the land, promised, procured, taken, or theft ravaged can be made to belong to the proper holder, made property. Land with holes in it, where Earth's fire turns water into steam. Land with swirling colors and boulders arranged by beauty's chance. Land witnessing chance and dance, holding terrible memory of angry slaughter, fought over and forgotten, likely changed by future force of Earth. Land from 10,000 meters high, slowly flows underneath, pretending to be water at 800 kilometers per hour. From the sky, we come down to land. Land owned because pieces of paper offer proof that can't be deciphered by plants, bugs, or creatures requiring more than two legs to ramble where they're not supposed to be. Land occasionally burning, freezing at the rhythm of how Earth tilts to the closest star, measured by the distance I can walk in a day's time, but which day, young or old? Land will accept what is left of me at the end, as it does from time to time, offerings from distances beyond where air lets us breathe. This is land that comes from distant sky, land that hears all of the hopefully grandiloquent aspirations as well as the craven curses sent forward to others of my kind, without judgment, being as it is, wise.